Today we'll be discussing what an equivalent fraction is all about and also how to convert a fraction from how to convert a fraction towards an equivalent fraction. Stay tuned. First of all, an equivalent fraction is a kind of fraction that have the same value but different number. What am I trying to say? Let's take this. We bought a pizza one and we divided the pizza into two equal parts. Don't forget each part is one over two when it is divided into two equal parts. And also we bought another pizza the same day and we divided it into eight equal parts don't mind my diagram and here we happen to offer mom from this one that is divided into two equal parts half of the pizza and here we decided to offer that four out of the pizza that is divided four parts out of the pizza that is divided into eight parts so now the fraction of pizza consumed by mom is one over two why the fraction of pizza consumed by dad is four over eight you can watch our video on conversion on fraction yes on fraction then you will learn how to achieve this goal how we are able to drive this to be 1 over 2 and this as 4 over 8 good so now from here mom that ate 1 over 2 that is half from the pizza that is divided into 2 and that that ate 4 out of what the 8 from the pizza that is divided into 8 who ate the bigger portion? It's quite simple. Nobody did. Mom and dad ate equal portion of what pizza. So in such situation, we say that what the fraction is what equivalent. That is one over two is equal to what four over eight. The value is the same. Nobody ate what bigger portion of the pizza. They all ate what the same quantity of what the pizza hence it is called what equivalent fraction don't forget the name fraction is included because it has what numerator and what denominator So this makes it what a fraction and they are what equivalent because they have the same value. So now we'll be moving to how to convert from how to convert a fraction to what an equivalent fraction. There are two ways of converting a fraction to equivalent. Number one is by multiplication. why the number two is by division number one using number one now we are applying what the multiplication is quite simple given a fraction we say convert it what to what an equivalent fraction so all we need to do is to just choose any number at all but the most important thing is what use the number to multiply up and use it to multiply the down number simple so we choose four let's say we choose four for instance so we'll be having one times four all over what two times four 
Hence, our answer will be 4 over what? 8. Hence, you can see that 1 over 2 is equal to what? 4 over 8. We can take another example, the B part of it. We can have 3 over 6. Here, to convert it, we choose 3 to multiply with. So, we multiply the top number with 3 and as well the bottom number with 3. Hence, 3 times 3 is what? 9. And 6 times 3 is what? 18. Hence, we have what? 3 over 6 to be equal to what? 9 over 18. So, this is what? An equivalent fraction. So, now we'll be moving to the B part of the conversion, which is what? Division. So, now we have the example. Let's say we have A to be 27 all over 9. So, we can convert this to an equivalent fraction by division. All we need to do is just to look for a number that can divide the bottom number and the top number at the same time without remainder. So we can think of a number like 3. So we are going to divide this by 3. And we are going to be dividing this by 3. Which is equal to 3 divide this will give us 3. 3 divide this will give us 9. Hence we will be having what? 9 over 3. Therefore, we have that word. 27 over 9 is equal to what? 9 over 3. You can use your calculator to find the final value. You see that this fraction is equal to this fraction in terms of their final value. The value that this fraction will give you is exactly the same value this one will give to you. So we can have another example. You could say convert this. to an equivalent fraction using division, that is 3 over 12. All we need to do is to look for a number to divide the top and the bottom number. Here we choose divided by what? 4. Not 4 actually, 4 cannot go well. So 4 is not what? A good option because 4 cannot divide what? The top and the bottom number at the same time. But instead, 3 can. So we go with 3. So you can see we have, we can now have 3 divided by 3 all over 12 divided by what 3 which will give us what 1 all over 4 that is 3 into here 1 3 into here 4 hence we have that what 3 over 12 is equivalent to what 1 over 4 the fraction they are equivalent to each other thank you for listening and do have a wonderful day.